What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Panahachal, right here on Lake Atitlan. We are going to explore this lake here. We're going to explore the town and some of these other towns. Let's do it. All right, the five towns we're going to check out. Santa Catarina, Punahachal, San Juan, Santiago, and San Antonio. We arrived from Antigua on this very windy road that took about two and a half to three hours depending on traffic. Now I will say that motion sickness is possible when you're on these windy roads, so uh, maybe prepare for that when you're on your way to Lake Atilan. Now the primary beach town is Panajachal, which is where we're at right now. This is where the most infrastructure is and most People who are foreigners start here before they really venture out and end up in these other communities. All right, so we're gonna get on this boat right here and head over to San Juan. Yeah, San Juan de Laguna. Cooperativas, chocolate, textiles, la miel. Safety first, friends. Yeah, they have roads that go around the lake, but really the best way to get around is on these boats. All right, so first stop is San Juan a Laguna, and uh, we've got a guide. She's gonna show us around some of the places in this town. So the first part of this tour, she's going to show us the textiles and how they're made and where they come from. The process here is completely natural, including the dyes as well as the fabric used. So this is locally sourced cotton fabric. All right, so I'm going to be getting this right here for 200 quetzales. It's a full cotton. Uh, feels real comfortable, relaxed, and it's Guatemalan style. I like it. Quantos quetzales? 20? No. 50. 50? 50? Getting this leather Guatemalan bracelet. Yeah, so I'm looking at these three uh, pieces of art of the quetzales. Doscientos? Doscientos? Yes. Sí. Yes. Uh, Pasible. Que no hay. Sí. Yes, okay. yes. Listo. Va, está bien. All right, now we're going to go in here and take a look at how chocolate's made. Chocolate. Let's do it. She said if we eat 12 of these cacao seeds, it's equivalent to taking a full tequila shot. It's got alcohol in it, these cacao seeds. It's kind of bitter, but it's got alcohol in it. So it's been roasted now, let's see if it tastes different. It tastes more like chocolate than you would know, yeah. So I've got a little bit of pure cacao. She did warn me that it's going to be bitter. It's like a, a bit nutty, it's like kind of like a nut, and it is bitter. 90% is decent. This is my favorite, 80%. 80% chocolate, or cho cacao and 20% sugar. So this is actually chocolate rum. All right, so the next thing we're gonna check out is local honey. Oh, that's 
so good. Cerveza with honey, ooh. I like a cider. And the last part of the tour is coffee. So we're gonna be checking out how they make coffee. Try some coffee beans. Guatemalan coffee, very famous. Wow, what a cool town, San Juan de Lago. Hi. <laughs> when you come to San Juan, you can meet with Giselle here. She's a fantastic guide. She shows you everything you need to know about the town and the uh, merchants and the commercial side of the industry that goes on right here. So we've gone from uh, Panaja Hall all the way over here to uh, San Juan right here. There's San Pedro. You know, if you're going to ride the boats, I would say early morning is not as choppy as the afternoon. And when it gets choppy, it can really be quite the ride. All right, we came back to Panachal, and now we're going to go get some food and then uh, show you what that looks like. We're also going to go to more towns, so you're going to stay tuned. We're going to try and get around lots of different parts of Lake Atilan. Uh, you saw San Pedro. Unfortunately, it was just from the boat. Uh, we didn't actually go on the shore. There's so many towns around here, Santa Catalina. I mean, the list goes on. Hopefully we show you as many as we can in this guide. So let's keep this tour going. And you can see the volcanoes towering over the lake. This is actually a freshwater lake. Uh, it's not salt water. It's quite far away from the Pacific and the Caribbean. So uh, it is very deep. Now, one question people want to know is, can you fish or swim here? It's not typical. And this is a look at the hotel we stayed at in Ponte Gichel. So as the sun went down, another day began and we woke up with an urge to do some more exploring. Alright, so this morning we're actually going to walk around more of Pana Hachal and then we're actually going to go over to San Antonio, Santa Catalina and Santiago. But let's first show you around Calle Santander right here. It's really early here in Pana, as they call it, Pana, P-A-N-A. You can also call it Pana to Shell, but anyway, it's still early. It's only uh, 9.30. Here we are right here on the waterfront. We're gonna walk down this cool little market uh, alleyway right here. And we met up with a local tour guide who ended up giving us a great deal for multiple towns. Like I said, we're going to three more today. We're gonna to go all the way across to Santiago, which is on the other side of the lake. 
and uh, it's about 9.30, so we got a big day ahead of us. So we just stopped right here in the middle of the lake to get uh, great views, being that it's a clear day. Uh, most of the time in the mornings it's clear, in the afternoons it starts to get a little bit smokier, cloudy, and colder. So if you are gonna do these taxis or these tours, do them in the morning time, probably before one or two. Uh, anyways, we're headed over to Santiago now. And just in case you're wondering how deep this lake is, it's a thousand feet deep at its deepest point. And if you wanna fish here, there's no real fish uh, endemic or even introduced. So the lake doesn't really have great fishing and swimming. Most people don't swim here either. Here we are at Santiago. We're gonna go get out of this uh, barco, take this uh, life vest off and go walk around. So what we're Come doing on. here is we're uh, buying these pens. Uh, we're gonna get one Island Hopper TV pen. I go, how long will it take you? Three, uh, two minutes and a half. Two and a half minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's fast. Yeah, we can wait for it. So if you look behind me, you can see there's a park that used to be here, now it's underwater. The lake came up, but actually now it's going down. So you'll notice around Lake Atilan, they have the villages really high up there and some of the mountains. That's because when the water levels went up, they retreated higher up. walk up this road here in Santiago, Atitlan, you can see lots of tuk-tuks. Where's the cars? Well, preferred means of transportation around here is a tuk-tuk. For those of you who don't know, tuk-tuks actually originated in Asia, but they're so efficient, they spread around the world, even here to Guatemala. So we're gonna go check out a Mayan sauna. Let's go see what this is. And you can see the real corn here. When I say real corn, this is uh, how corn actually looks. It's not typically yellow. It's purple, uh, red, these variety of different colors. It's maize. And actually what she's doing here is she's showing you guys traditional headdress for the Mayan women. And it does depend on the village because they do it different in various villages across Ati Lawn. So here we are at the Mercado de Santiago. This is the Santiago market. We're gonna go take a look. This is really a Mayan market, not really touristic at all. So uh, you're gonna see an authentic Mayan market right here.
Actually, keep it an eye because they are. Really it's basically and they are very good. Hay personas que están y se la pasan llorando porque cada día se enferman más de la vida. So when it comes to getting around the area of Atitlan, you might be enticed to drive, but according to our friend here, Isaac, who's actually a local guy, he was saying it's best to take the boats because if you look at this here island or this uh, lake demographic here, from San Pedro to Santiago, he's saying that road around the volcano there is actually considered dangerous because there is gangsters in this little area right here. And sometimes they get bad luck because tourists will come here and try and take an Uber from uh, say Antigua all the way to San Pedro, that's not what you should do. You need to go to Panajachel and take a boat to wherever you want to go. That's what he recommends. Driving around the lake, not such a good idea. This church here was built in 1547. It's called the Church of Iglesia in uh, Santiago Atilan. Let's go take a look inside. So if you guys are looking for a guide when you come to Atitlan, this is Isaac right here and he can show you around really good. Uh, tours, they are done in a very unique way, more authentic. Um, the best way how to know my country, Guatemala. All right, so now we're gonna go look at a statue of the Mayan deity and then we're gonna get some lunch, which I know I personally am looking forward to as well as probably you there in the audience. <laughs> And this here is a look at the festival where they're celebrating the deity. And they have a statue here alongside them uh, while they're feasting on some really good local cuisine. I was a little bit jealous because I wanted some food. But anyway, we will be heading over to get our own food at a really nice restaurant. Got some hibiscus juice. All right, here's the deal. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We got in the boat, headed across the lake, and this time the water was a bit choppier. We couldn't even film. I mean, it was some really choppy water on this day here because of the wind. 
but after 30 minutes of getting uh, pounded by the rough seas, we arrived in San Antonio. All right, so we just came from Santiago. The ride was definitely a bit rough because the wind was going in the direction that we were, the opposite direction in which we were coming from. But we're at San Antonio Palopo. Beautiful views of the Lake Atiblan from here. Look at this. You know, Lake Atitlan really is a special place, and if you do come to Guatemala, this might just be at the top of your list. Uh, but each village has its own identity, its own character, its own colors, and really its own unique beauty all around this whole lake. Really a special place on planet Earth. These are firecrackers. Good sound. It's really, really loud. This so we got some fireworks here because apparently they're legal in uh, Guatemala and everyone likes them. So two cake soles, which is like 25 cents for this fireworks right here. Okay, so this one is Rambo. It's the best. It's the original. It's the favorite for Guatemalans. Okay. So here we are at the potter's house. We're going to see how they make Mayan pottery. It's how they fabric their brush. They use hair of fox, dogs, uh, coyote. So a lot of this pottery, or porcelain as I would call it, actually ends up getting sold all across the world, including in the United States. So don't be surprised if you see some of this pottery in a local store nearby in the United States. Better somewhere else? So here we are at the Church of San Antonio. The other one had a view of the volcano, but come over here and you can see they've got a view of the lake. Look at that view. All right, we've arrived at Santa Catarina. They've got a fiesta going on in there. This is gonna be real interesting to see. So let's go check it out. Now that was some interesting clothing they were wearing, some costumes. Actually, it was really cool and the music they were playing was nice. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna walk around the town. They call this the Cinque Terre of Guatemala. For those of you who don't know where Cinque Terre is, that's in uh, Italy.
All right, we're back in Pana Jachal, and a uh, beautiful uh, tour all around. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Also, if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to Island Opera TV.